In this section, we will take a closer look at the action bar. As you can see, some of its options are grayed out and unavailable at this moment. To make them active, we have to open an archive. Let's do that by clicking Open and selecting a sample archive. Let's choose an archive and click Open. By default, there will be a message confirming a successful opening. Let's click OK. As you can see, the action bar consists of functions available in the menu bar. Its main purpose is to allow you to quickly access the most commonly used functions. The first two functions, Open and Save, come from the File menu. Next to them, we have five functions from the Device menu. Read, Write, Clone, Clone Express, and Update. The last two functions on the action bar are Register and Activate from the Licenses menu.